Hi, welcome to Snobbio. Fueled and consistent lead flow is an absolute must for businesses to blossom and reach their full potential. And it's all achievable through a finely tuned lead generation funnel. In our previous video, we journeyed through the stages of lead travels, from first discovering your product to finally making a purchase, and look at these stages through the prism of code outreach. Now we're going to roll up our sleeves and dive into Legion funnel building from a practical perspective. Let's roll up our sleeves and get right to it. I'm Xenia, your trusty guide and brand ambassador at Snovio, and without further ado, let's get started. Building a Legion funnel isn't some sort of impossible mission, but it does require a series of well-synchronized steps. Step number one, kickstart your lead generation with the right software. The awareness stage starts way before your leads actually learn about your company. At this early point, it's all about generating those leads. This step can be broken down into a few phases. First things first, you need to define your target audience. Well, it may seem pretty obvious, many businesses choose to skip this part for various reasons, naively hoping for magic results. Spoiler alert, they usually end up disappointed. As the saying goes, if you're selling to everyone, you're selling to no one. This perfectly captures what happens if you don't define your target audience. So to avoid disappointment later, be diligent at the beginning. Ask yourself, who will benefit from your solution? Who are the likely users of your product, their demographics, geography, language, main challenges, interests, and so on. We talk about all of this in detail in our buyer persona video, so make sure to give them a watch. You'll find the links in the video description. Now that you know who your target leads are, it's time to find them. The quickest way is to generate leads with Legion software like Snovio. Snovio Legion Toolkit allows you to find high quality leads that match your ideal customer profile in just a few clicks. Let me introduce one of our most powerful tools, LinkedIn Prospect Finder. As the name suggests, this user-friendly Chrome extension helps you find leads on LinkedIn. That's right, you can get leads email addresses along with their full prospect profiles. Can't wait to get started! Let me walk you through the steps to unlock its power. Once you install the extension, you'll find the link in the video description, enter the required search parameters in the LinkedIn search tab, and click the LinkedIn Prospect Finder extension icon. Choose the list you want to save the leads to, hit the advanced button, set up the end page, and press save. Once the search is complete, you'll find full prospect profiles in your prospect list. And here's the cherry on the top, all the email addresses will be pre-verified. You got your list of targeted leads ready to go. Let's move on to the next step. Step number two, craft an automated cold email campaign. While creating your cold campaign, always keep your goal in mind and shape the campaign accordingly. Decide how many follow-ups you will include. While most cold campaigns have four or five follow-ups, don't feel restricted by this number. Feel free to add more, but do it wisely to avoid turning your campaign into spam. Also, decide how many sequences your campaign will have. Will it be one sequence regardless of the recipient's actions, or will their actions influence the flow? For instance, with Snovia Drip campaigns, you can create triggered email sequences that allow you to develop different email flows based on your recipient's actions, such as whether they open the email or click the link in it. Undoubtedly, the ultimate goal is to get your prospect to schedule a meeting, but whether that happens or not doesn't only depend on your strategy, but also on the content of your email follow-ups. If you crafted an appealing initial email, you know, it's top-notch, but your next four follow-ups look something like this. I hate to break it to you, but your cold campaign is done from the start. Here's the deal, leads are immune to such emails. They are seen as information trash, open and closed in the blink of an eye without grabbing any attention. So instead of continuing to talk about the downfall of such a campaign, let's focus on what you need to do right. The purpose of follow-ups is to nurture your leads until they are ready to book a call with you. Your email should offer value, but in a calculated and strategic way. Each follow-up should stay on the topic, highlight the benefits your prospects will get, and include something that keeps the conversation going, like a call to action. If you need some inspiration, turn to AI for help. For example, if you're struggling to write CDAs, ask ChatGPT to assist you and pick the best options suggested. You can either add your email content to the request or provide a detailed task description starting with who you are and who you send the emails to. 
asking the AI to suggest ways to end your cold email with a CTA. Choose the one you like the most or pick a few to A-B test in snobby email drip campaigns to see which one performs best and encourages your prospects to respond. In the future, Snobby Guides will explore more about ChatGPT and how it can help create cold email campaigns. So smash that notification bell to stay updated. As I've already mentioned, you need to decide on a strategy for creating email content. You can use different formulas to structure your emails. You'll find these in the 10 fail-proof cold email formulas PDF linked in the video description. I personally love the PAS formula, which stands for Problem Agitate Solution. You take the pain points your prospect might have, add some agitation, and provide a solution. You can see the structure in the initial cold email example. Remember, the consideration stage is all about nurturing. So, your follow-ups should offer something valuable to your prospect. It could be blog articles, case studies, video guides, etc. And once again, don't forget to include a CTA in each email. Now, let's move on to the third step. Step number three, seal the deal. Congrats! Your cold campaign has been quite successful and you already had some promising conversations with prospects. Remember from our previous video? You're now at the conversion stage. Your lead is not just aware of your solution, but is also showing genuine interest, ready to buy it, but the order hasn't been placed yet. There is a trap here that many fall into. The prospect's enthusiasm during a meeting can cause salespeople to let their guard down. They think the battle's been won, the job's done, and the prospect's enthusiasm will automatically result in a purchase. But this is where many prospects go silent. Remember, getting your lid on a call or even having a great conversation with them doesn't guarantee a conversion. The deal is only sealed when you see the receipt. Until then, don't abandon your prospect. After a meeting with a potential customer, make it a point to send a follow-up message within 24 hours. So what do you need to include in your post-meeting follow-up email? A heartfelt thank you for your prospect's time. A brief summary of the meeting. Highlight the main points of the discussion. Clearly defined next steps. The next steps will depend on the meeting's purpose and what you hope to achieve with the follow-up message. This could include confirming the next steps, such as proceeding with a contract, scheduling a follow-up meeting, providing additional info, or asking for a feedback. A well-organized lead generation funnel is the key to success. We hope these tips will help you build a smooth lead gen process and convert more leads through cold outreach. Be sure to like and subscribe to Snow YouTube channel for more growth hacks and don't forget to share this video with your colleagues and partners. See y'all!